the first of our seven-week series on the building blocks of virtualization. Um, just a few quick housekeeping notes. We will be answering questions at the end of the session. So if you have any questions, please use the question box on your GoToWebinar uh, control panel. We are recording today's webinar, so it should be available on our website later this afternoon. And with that, I am going to hand, hand it over to our presenter today. We've got Centronet Technical Account Manager, Ken Fischke. Welcome, Ken. Hey, thanks, Valerie. I appreciate it. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And really, thanks for taking the time out of, uh, out of your busy schedules. We know it's a, uh, all of our uh, schedules have a tendency of kind of getting cramped up, so hopefully this will be well worth your time. Um, what I wanted to do today is just kind of go through the agenda. Um, first off, once again, thanks, Valerie, for, uh, for setting this up. And my name is Ken Pischke. I am the uh, technology account manager here at Centronet. And we're going to explain a little bit about who we are and the ABCs of virtualization. And the reason I call it the ABCs of virtualization is it really is becoming more not, not necessarily a, a technology decision, but it really is becoming a business decision. And you'll see more of that. But it is a business case to solve real problems with a virtual solution. And at the end of this, we're going to then have a Q&A, which everybody can jump in and, and ask questions and, and go from there. So what we want to talk about today is probably what's on the mind of most companies, is how do you do more with less? And what do I mean by that? Uh, I, I, I mean the use of virtualization that's being thrown around by so many companies of virtualize this, virtualize that, virtualize that et cetera, et cetera. But in our environment and in your environment, it's, a, uh, it's not only an environment of cost savings, but it's also an environment of doing exactly what we talked about, doing more with less than what you had in the, in the past. So, uh, but first, what I want to do is have just a, kind of a, a quick word from our sponsor, if you would. Uh, Centronet, we're based out of Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, we've been uh, a respected leader in our industry and for, I would say, for a little over about 14 years now. Uh, we have the expertise to help clients virtualize applications and virtualize desktops, virtualize servers, storage, etc. So I mean, that, that's primarily our main focus in life. Uh, Centronet is the only platinum partner with Cent uh, Citrix here in Georgia. We're enterprise partners with VMware and Microsoft. And what that means to you is that uh, what we're, we're going to do is we, since we do work with Citrix, Microsoft, and VMware, we have the best of all worlds. And what that allows us to do is really take a look at your environment as we say, all right, let's, let's virtualize this, let's also virtualize desktops, et cetera, et cetera, and not be driven to just one product. So we're not going to tell you that one is the best over the other because we're going to try to recommend a solution that's going to fit your needs instead of just having a, uh, a solution that fits our needs because it's the only product that we sell. So in some cases, you're going to find that a blended environment of both Microsoft, Citrix, and VMware is a great idea, and it's a great solution because it solves the problems that you're trying to to, uh, to solve. Um, we also partner with Wise on thin clients. I'm sure everybody has probably seen a lot of the thin clients that are out there right now. Uh, we do HP, Dell, NetApp, and data, uh, Pillar Data Systems, and that's primarily from the hardware and storage side. But we also partner with companies such as AppSense and Still Secure, Script Logic, just to name a few, on the software solution side. Now, a lot of these partners uh, have upcoming webinars, and uh, they fill different areas that will help in virtualizing your environment, not only virtualizing it, but also managing it a little bit later on. Uh, folks like AppSense, uh, securing your environment with like Still Secure. So, if you're interested in these things, let us know. We'll be happy to register you for those, uh, for those upcoming events and get you plugged in. Um, our team literally does have over 14 years of experience in the virtualization technologies. Uh, our engineers are certified with all of our partner platforms. And we are an experienced business and technical sales team that understands how business blends with technology. So we're just not coming in and saying you need this many gigs of RAM and all this other good stuff. We sit down and we understand what your business needs are, and then we apply technologies to fit those business needs. Uh, but more importantly, we bring a local presence and a personal touch to the customers that really helps, helps make virtualization work. And that is important. In fact, uh, virtualization is all we do. So 
Virtualization isn't new by any sense. Uh, as a matter of fact, mainframes have been doing this for many, many years, and not in the same fashion as, as it's done today, but utilizing processing power for multiple applications. I love this picture because, um, uh, I, I don't know, um, this is the kind of thing that fascinated me as a kid of having a, a whole house full of, of stuff, of, of uh, lights and, and uh, cameras in action, and, uh, and yet it had such a small processing power, it was unbelievable. Well, unfortunately, you're also seeing a lot of data centers that look like this today as well and uh, where you've got just a room full of computers that go on and on and on. So, uh, so really kind of what's happening is, is that today's environment is a lot of hardware, a lot of cost, and a lot of problems, et cetera. And that's really where, where these things start to kick in. Gone are the days of having a single computer to supply a, a single application, a database, a, a web server, or even a mail server like Microsoft Exchange. So what's happening is that virtualization in itself is starting to, to, uh, to take hold and is being widely applied with excellent operational and financial results. So, but it's no means universally used or understood, and, and uh, hopefully that's the purpose of the session today. It's to really provide you with an introduction to the subject so that you can understand not only its promise, but you can go back and create an action plan to decide whether this is right for you or not. So, with technology advancements in server virtualization, such as VMware, Citrix, and Microsoft, this has now become an affordable way to really, uh, really utilize commodity uh, hardware to its fullest. And why do I say it's commodity hardware? Well, as we all know, the cost of hardware has dropped significantly over just the last couple of years. It is, uh, it's gotten to the point to where uh, the, uh, the hardware of, of two years ago which cost $20,000 is now somewhere in the neighborhood of around $7,000 range for, for the same types of servers with 10 times the processing power. So it really is, uh, it's, it's very impressive how you're getting more bang for the buck, but virtualization really even takes that to the next step. So what we're going to try to do today is uh, talk about how really uh, virtualization is nothing new, and yeah, it's been around for a lot of years. So what we have found, though, is that there's four trends that have come together in the past couple of years that are starting to really move virtualization and make it a reality. So let's take a look at the first trend. Uh, hardware is underutilized. I'm sure probably everybody thinks that uh, your servers are maxed out and they're, they're, uh, they're pegged at 100%. And in all reality, we find that that's really not the case. Uh, if you look at Moore's Law, you know, every new generation of chip delivers twice as much processing power as the previous generation and at the same price. Well, uh, that was a couple of years ago. That Moore's Law has now taken it to one step further. That's now been upgraded to four times the processing power at the same price. So here's a fact that came out from, from Gartner. It says that 85% of all business processing power today is underutilized. And what that means to you is that you have a tremendous asset not being used all the time and all those things that, uh, and all those servers that are sitting out there that are at 20%, 30%, 40% utilization is costing you dollars. And I'll explain a little bit about that uh, later on down the line. But single computers or servers for the most part, right now in today's environment, you have a, a single server, single operating system, single application. Boom, okay, you're done, move on. Uh, and you have multitudes of those servers that are trying to run and, and run your business. Uh, now you can uh, alleviate a lot of that. So, but most of these servers, once again, are grossly underutilized, and most companies continue to buy more of them. Uh, it's a great thing for your Dell rep and for your HP guy and your IBM rep, but it's not a good thing for your budget. And all of this uh, type of, of activity has pretty much been brought to you by your, your friendly folks of the chip industry, if you think about it. Um, so what's happening here is that you're also finding that with the secondary trend is that now that you've bought all of this hardware and all of this storage and all of these things in order to be able to fit your end user's request or your customer's request, is that you're running out of space. Um, you're running out of, of places to put this, and so you're having to expand your data centers. So with the, the vast amount of requests for applications and storage and email and compliance, etc., 